Tyler here. I'm going to apologize in advance for the video. It's all over the place, and yeah, it's wild. We tried fishing at the lake in the morning, didn't get a bite, went to a creek in the afternoon, fished it, and now I'm in a pond fishing, and I just want to apologize ahead of time for the crazy, wild, random video you're about to see. So thank you guys for watching, and let's get into this video. All right, what's up guys? Tyler here. Today we're going to be fishing Cedar Creek once again. Uh, Old Faithful is going to try and make a video today on a boat with Blake. We went to a local lake about 25 minutes away. Had no luck. Fished from 7.30 this morning to about 1.45 through everything we had. Did every technique I know and didn't get a bite, but the video we're going to do today is I made my own fishing lures. Well, they're kind of like flies. I don't have a fly kit, so this is all like legit handmade like of stuff I found around my house and outside. So without further ado, I'll show you guys that lure. Guys, this is the first one I made. It's a little bitty jig. It has right here that little lump. It's a split shot. I cut in half and put on there. This is eight pound braid I use as the kind of the tie it up it's a feather with some twine that I flared out and a real small hook so I think that should catch some fish and we're fishing that on six pound Mr. Crappie line or some kind of crappie line and then on the other pole we have a little micro black and blue jig so let's get out there and fish this little guy and see if we can get something Alright guys, we're gonna homemade jig fish this little thing for crappie and perch. Let's see if we get us a nibble. There we go. Finally got us a gill. We got us a beautiful gill. Right on the homemade fly, right in the, right on that little fly. Guess they're gonna eat it. Well, it's good. Let's let him go. Hey, I see some right here in front of me. So there's some here. There's got to be some elsewhere. And I get stuck on the one log. I don't know if any of y'all have ever done this. It's not the smartest thing to do. But it does get your lure unhung. All you gotta do is simply unscrew your reel. Make sure your line's nice and tight. Pop your reel off. Keep your line tight and throw your rod at your reel. And make sure you don't knot it up. And usually close enough or you throw it hard enough and get your bait back just like so all right guys we didn't go to a carolina rig like i thought we were going to i tied on this little u-head it's like a it's just a jig head with the the heads free swinging it moves however it wants with a little uh green pumpkin brush hog we're just gonna drag it across the bottom see if we can get any strikes on it Picked him up yet. I think we, get, we should get a fish here for too long. There's one, guys. I knew if I kept hitting that bank over there because I saw something swim off, that I would eventually get one. Very light bass. 
very light colored guy. I saw Gary Yamamoto said that if you catch a light bass, that means they're schooling bass. So I'm not sure if that's true, but real light bass. Not a bad guy though. But he's real, real light. Maybe pound and a quarter, pound and a half. Nice fish though. We'll let him go. Get a nice release on this pretty fish. And he's off. Alright, so. Alright, what's up guys? Tyler here. Today we're going to be fishing an oil lease pond. We are not trespassing. I have permission to fish this pond. So, this pond has some pretty good fish in it. When they want to bite. So let's see if we can get them to want to bite today. Start fishing, guys. Alright, we tied on a little $1 BPS popper. Let's see if we can story about this pond. I was fishing it with my buddy Zach and Blake one time. And... Zach kept having this bass chase his spinnerbait all the way up to the bank. Would never strike it. It was about a two pounder. I was throwing a little Texas rig cross and I he said he sees him, so I cast it over by Zach and said, Tell me if he comes near this. And Blake was like, That was messed up. I was like, Why? He goes, Because he just ate your lure. And right as he said that, I felt him, so I set the hook on him. And I was standing up on these banks, and they're, they're real tall banks. And I, uh, when I hooked him, I went to pull him up on the bank and I was using a six foot, or yeah, six foot medium, uh, Abel Garcia, Mike Iconelli rod and reel combo that I bought. And I went to, I raised the rod tip up to grab him and the light pole goes, snaps at the top of the pole, or snaps at the top of my rod. He stayed on, like the line didn't break, so I got him in, but. He wasn't worth breaking a pole over, so that's a little funny story about that. Popper is a no-go, so we're going to maybe try a spinnerbait or another Texas rig or something. Put on a white spinnerbait, see if we can maybe catch something on that. back.
There's one, guys. He ran right up on the bank for me. I didn't have to do any work. Trailer hood got him. He swiped on it. Well, there's the first one on a white spinner bait. Nice little female. I'm going to let her go right quick and get back out there. Number two, guys. Oh, wow. Huh. That is a big black or white crappie. Woo. Look at that big old crappie, guys. It's not scrubbing my shoes soaked now, but caught the crappie, so that's all that matters. It's a nice crappie. This is the first crappie of the year for me, or first big crappie. Well, let him go, too. If you like the t-shirt I wore in today's video, you can pick it up at keepitrealfishingapparel.com. I'm going to link them below. Use code 15 off for 50% off your order. I am now affiliated with this company, and let's help this company grow. Go, go pick up some sweet apparel. They got long sleeve shirts, short sleeve shirts, hats, decals for your car, who rags. They got all kinds of stuff. Just go give them a go give them a quick holler, look at them, check them out. Order if you want, order if you want some gear, guys. Uh, yeah, use 15. Use fifth. Use the code. Use the code 15 off for 50% off your order. This is Tyler. I'm signing out, guys. See you in the next video.